Mark Boy Black by Rap Time TV. We are in the building, 916 Sacramento. Shout out Brown's Vision. We are on the tour bus right now with a very, very talented artist of strange music. I'm sitting here with Calico. Yeah, man. How you doing, brother? Good, man. Good. Good. I'm chilling, man. I'm blessed. <laughs> That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Blessed position. Hey, and blessed is what it is, too, because... If anybody said they doing good, they doing fantastic, or they doing awesome, that's good too. Yeah. But you can't do better than being blessed, man. Yeah. You understand that? Yeah. So Calico, let's get right into it, man. Rap Pine TV. Um, you know, strange music is a very, very popular, popular label. Yeah. You, Tech Nine, yeah. and the history that you guys have laid out yeah. in America and globally. To be honest with you, yeah. uh, the first thing I want to know because a lot of people have been chiming in on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that. What does it take, all the young artists are asking, what does it take to have longevity in this game? If you had to give out a paragraph of advice to have longevity being an independent artist, what would it be? What, what would you say to somebody? I mean, it wouldn't even probably take a paragraph, man. For one, you have to be able to perform. Just being up there, you know what I'm saying, holding your Johnson, or, mm. or, or just being up there because you think you can rap good is not enough. That's right. It's not enough, man. We. Me and Tech Nine, man, we're, we're gonna outperform everything. We're gonna out show, and we're gonna we're gonna outperform everybody, and we, we are. And and uh, to tell you the truth, man, when we do other shows. Um, we do like summer jams and stuff, and we got uh, rappers that are even or, or singers, or whoever, or even bigger artists than us. When they see us, you see them go like, ah, I already know what y'all finna do, because they know we about to rock it. We did a show years ago, our, uh, years ago with Buster Rhymes and Spliff, uh, and uh, they was Spliff like, star. they was both like, man, we thought nobody ever outperformed us, but we seen something else tonight. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be able to perform, man. You know, and you got to be able to be consistent with your music. Okay. You can't just have that one hit, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't never really. Ted probably had. It was kind of a hit when Hood Go Crazy. Okay. Yeah. But we yeah. We never really had it. no big. And he reached number 11 in the top 40. Okay, I feel you. So that's pretty much a hit, but, uh, you know, we, we haven't had no back-to-back -back hits, man. We created this out of Travis's basement. You know, you know what I'm saying? Travis O'Gwen, the CEO of Strange Music. Him and Tech Nine on the label, you know what I'm saying? We started with a couple other guys that aren't with us anymore. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, we started this out of his basement, man, and here we are still strong, man. You know, uh, uh, OGs, but young cats at the same time, man. Right. I feel like we get younger. We look better That's all the time. Think. Right. We look better all yep. the time, man. We, me and me and me and this dude, you know, we eat different. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a vegetarian okay. right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I eat. I ain't really drinking right now. Okay. Um, you know, but I, positive. I, 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 pot, I party for years. Out yeah. Of, you know, man. I've kicked it for years and years and years. I have my fair share of everything. Mm -hmm. So right now, man, I'm on. I'm, I'm, I'm on. Uh, I'm on getting my mind, body, and spirit cleansed and mm -hmm. rocking that stage every night. Yep. And then, you know, of course, I got the new album, so I'm pushing that too. Okay, what's the new album called? It's called Go, man. It's called Go. It's actually, okay. a, um, you know, most people would know me as a rapper, but although I've been singing the hooks for Strange Music forever, yeah, yep. um, this is an all singing album. Ooh. It's all R&B. They call it, the media says it's R&B and pop, but really it's just a singing album for me. Okay. So okay. it's like all singing. And I, I, it's not all singing. I, I got three. Tech raps on four songs, okay. and then there, there's probably three quote-unquote rap songs on it. Everything else is just straight up singing. But it sounds like to me you're bringing something that's familiar to your crowd, yep. but you're also bringing something that's going to be a new original work right. of art yep. that's going to say, hey, look at this and look at this side too. Not yep. just all rap, but also some R&B. Yep. You know what I mean? Or yep. pop, or if they want to call it that. Yeah, whatever, whatever they fine. call it. Yeah. I just wrote songs, man. Right. You I wrote songs and I hired a bunch of live... Uh, Cats to come in a live band and come and play. When I play, I play with a. I got a twelve-piece live band that I play with. Okay. You know oh, what I'm okay. saying? Damn. Um, okay. So you know, it's different from seeing me and Tech with just the two of us on stage to right. me with eleven other people on stage. You know what I'm saying? I really think something like that could open up. Oh yeah. Open up people to a whole new way of looking at hip hop. You know I'm what I'm saying? To play, I'm trying to play at the Super Bowl. That's what I'm, I'm trying. Right. To play like the Bruno Bowl. Mars is like the yeah. Whitney Houston's, like yeah. the Michael Jackson's. That's, that's what the people, level. That's what. That's what. Um, the media is comparing my album to Bruno Mars, okay. um, it, it, Maroon 5, yeah. CeeLo Green. Okay. So, you know, they're comparing this album to a lot, but it's really, it's really uncomparable. Uh, my, the music I, I did that. on this album is not anything that, the music I did, the genre doesn't really exist for it. But okay. if you, you okay. can, it does fit within the format of pop and R&B okay. and rap. I cannot wait to hear this yeah, one because... Man, 
I haven't heard anything from it yet. I'm sure the show oh, probably ain't released nothing yet, right? No, it's out. It came out a month ago. It came oh, out, it's it fresh came and out. new then. Yeah, it's new. It came out a month ago. It debuted the number three album on iTunes worldwide. Holy smokes, and that's the dope. Number, the number four album on Google. G-O, right? G-O. Yeah. Calico, G-O, man. Go. G-O. Calico Go, man. That's stands for God's man. Order. Ooh, my stands God. For God's now we're talking. Stands for God's Order, man. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because... I, you know, I felt for a while like I needed to. I told Tech a couple of years ago that I felt like I was going crazy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I felt like I was going to check myself into an institution mm. because I was so I, I was so um, inundated with crazy thoughts and feelings and sensations, and it even started to manifest itself into my body mm-hmm. to where I couldn't Is breathe, mm-hmm. to where I couldn't eat food. You know, wow. and things like this, man. Okay. So. You know, I, I took all of that and I channeled that into all of my music for this album. That's what Ted told me. He's like, man, write, man. You always feel better when you write, when you're in your, uh, in your element. So I just wrote this album, man, you know, and uh, he named it. He said, man, mm-hmm. you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to be here, man. This is God's order, man. You should call your album Go. Mm-hmm. God's mm-hmm. order. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, that's so, what I'm talking about with yeah. us as an African-American people, as an african people like we have this in us anyway the music the rhythm the soul yeah. this comes naturally out of us and when we learn how to channel it even as a yeah. young artist right now you might think that that uh that trap music is the way to go and if you feel like that right now cool but don't cut yourself off to yeah. exploring because i can do trap other I've done avenues. Trap. i do tra- I've done trap man i can do anything Any, i do right. EDM. i write country songs i write pop rock right yeah and we and my grandmother used to say that man that black folks were um like we got rhythm in it. We were born to dance. That's what she used to say. And I used to be like, well, what does that mean, boy? And I got older and I started kind of studying. I, I do, I, you know, I research a lot now. And I realize that the, the melanin in our skin, yes. the melanin is in our bloodstream. Yes. And it actually accounts for more muscle fiber. Mm-hmm. It accounts for um, more coordination. Okay. Which the coordination is how we get the, the rhythm. rhythm. Right. Coordination is the rhythm. Yeah. That's why you got so many good black athletes and musicians. That's right because of the melanin in our blood, right. you know what I'm saying? That's so right. we actually were born to dance. To do this. We're right. born to do music and all of this stuff. Not saying that any other culture is not. Not saying that Asians, whites, so they can do Latinos, because, you know what I'm saying? But, well, the reason why they can do it too, because we all originate from Africa. So they we all then, talk about original that. indigenous man come from Africa, that means everybody anyway. is right. it's in them. To it's just level. more of it in us. Because we got the melanin. Yeah, but that's we got the, more melanin. That's the key. That's they the got some. Yeah. But they don't have as much as us, you know, everybody does. And I'm not, and like I said, I'm not um, discounting any other race. Right, of course not. I'm not. I'm just talking about the race that I am. You're talking about the science. Yeah, that's, that's real. That's talking proven. about the science. Right. That's all, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, man, so I channeled all of this into my album, Go, man. You know, so a lot of people don't know it stands for God's Order because we didn't put God's Order on the front because we yeah. didn't want people to mistake it for a gospel album. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm already a, 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 a big a big fat black dude and that that could easily be mistaken <laughs> i could have on my cover i was i thought i, I didn't want to get mistaken for uh B. B. Mar- for marvin sapp <laughs> <laughs> even i love marvin sapp marvin sapp my favorite gospel singer That's but right. i, That's I don't right. want people like oh well you heard a new marvin sapp album what? <laughs> you know what i mean so calico in the building strange yeah, music man. rap car Absolutely. tv brown visions man this is an honor to speak with you man you know what i mean just to have strange music you tech and everybody allowing us in as a as a as a as a platform to express yourself, you know, that's what I like. So let me let me ask you this. How you feel about the music of today? Do you have any advice for artists that are coming out right now that are making it big? Can you I mean I mean we kinda really yeah. kinda did that I do. No, I got advice for that. Okay. No matter what you do, trap, whatever, man, I, it's three components. This is science too for real. Mm-hmm. To making a song for real. A song that people enjoy and that connects the folk. Okay. The beat is the most important thing. The beat is the most important thing, man. You you have a beat that people love. Some people don't even know the words. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But one thing they do usually know is the hooks. That's the second most important. Okay. Beat first, uh, the, the most important. Second important thing is the hook, the chorus of the song, man. You know, if you got a good beat and good chorus, you win. For you me. win, right. Your verse don't even really have to be that great, as you can see. Mm-hmm. These dudes ain't like... A lot of these guys that are popping, they not like elite rappers. Correct. But they got a dope beat and a dope hook. You know what I'm saying? And you win it. Now, if you can rap or sing and your verse is good too, that's yeah. the butter. That's the icing on the so cake. So that's the triple threat. Yeah, it's a triple it. threat, man. Beat, then chorus, then verse. Then verse, right. And that's how you win. I, I'm a chorus writer, so that's why my album 
when you listen to it, you'll see my album sounds like hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. Matter of fact, Travis told me one time, he's like, dude, I don't need 15 singles. I said, I'm not, I'm going to always give you that because I'm a hook writer. You know what I'm saying? And I know I know we had to write hooks that people were singing uh, along to. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And a if you know the hook, you're happy. You're riding around right. looking for that song. Yeah. You want that music in your life. Like Nate Dogg was that hook guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? He really did that thing on hooks and yeah. made platinum artists platinum. Man, and it don't even hook. have to be a sing along. Sometimes it's a chanty rap hook. Mm -hmm. I've been getting money where the you been. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's everybody right. gonna say that. That's right. Everybody can That's say that, right. man. Everybody can sing that That's along right. with you. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I and and I try to keep my hooks simple too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I keep I keep my uh, I got a song called "Didn't Want to Wake You" that I'm gonna be releasing as my second single, okay. and it's so easy to sing. It's just what we are is what we are. What mm. we feel is what we feel. Everybody can say that. All everybody day, every day. That's everybody easy. gonna be in the car saying what we are is what we are you know what I'm saying <laughs> like it's really it. easy you know what I'm yes, saying sir. um so yeah that's my formula man and that's my advice to the, to the cats that's coming up is man that beat for real I can remember this 50 cent in the club yeah that's always the example I use because I remember being in Kansas City in a club called Body Works and 50 cents in the club came on and it was just the instrumental Mm. And I remember the dance floor was packed. It was empty, and they put that on. And everybody was partying, and there was no words being said. And they played it three times in a row. Why?